I always assume, like, in a girl's change room, like, it's like guys showing off their new cars. Oh, it's you know more fancy I mean? than that, though. It's like, oh, I have butterflies on mine. Oh, you have ladybugs? Yeah. It's not like, ooh, lace, no. Were there ever, like, game changers where it's like, you know, someone brought in a sports bra? It's like, whoa. No, it was more like when girls started developing. It's like, whoa, what? That was it. That was it. That was it. Whoa, what? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa, what? Yeah. It was a little different. <laughs> I assume so. So then, when when do girls do you think get self conscious about the developments? When everyone is not in the same stage anymore. Really. So like, grade five or grade six, when one girl hits puberty before all the other ones, right. that's when. Now, is that girl in a good place or a bad place? Bad place. Because everyone's looking. Yeah. And she doesn't know what to do with the yeah. attention. What about the girl who develops last? Also a bad place. Because? <laughs> She's behind. No one's looking. Yep. Right, yeah. Okay, that's sad. Where were you on the tome school? Fairly middle. I was okay. Good. Yeah. That's so good. You yep. had a happy, happy job. development. Yep. Good. I applaud the men who can work at Victoria's Secret. Do you know um, why? Why? Right now we only have one man working, and he is very, very extremely gay. So he can handle working with bras. But we have had no straight man work there for more than a week. Why not? Because they can't handle folding panties and folding bras. That's it? Really? Exactly. That's it? That's it. They literally are like, listen. They're like, I can't do this. I can't fold, but fold panties? Right. I'd rather fold panties than like shirts. Or like pants. Mm, that's what they thought, but then then they quit. So. But why? I don't know. You think we, that we that would get? We gotta dig deeper. I just. And then they would get all the gratises, which is that's like free bras. We get free bras all the time. Yeah. So they would get those. That's great. That's and anniversary, they get Christmas, and yeah. Easter, right. all wrapped into one. They, their girls would love them. Totally. Mm -hmm. You like Emma Stone? I love Emma Stone. I like Emma Stone too. She's gorgeous. I think it's kind of lame though that she's dating uh, Andrew Garfield. Well, that's not lame. Good for her. That's so lame. Yeah. Listen, Andrew Garfield, there's three things. You can date Emma Stone, and you can be Spider-Man, and you can be alive. You get to pick two. Oh, Betty White, the last of the Golden Girls. Do you know she was a pinup? No, I didn't. She, That's there's nice. a, there's, if, look online. I was gonna use that photo, but, you know. Sounds... Kids watch the show. I would say... 34... C or D. It's 34B. You're getting the numbers the right. Is wrong. I promise you, these women have not But you're only one size. You're only one That's cup a, size That's off. actually a big thing, though. I know, but still, like... No, Alright. I'm gonna bring these women in. You're oh, I've got five. I'm you're. you're I'm doing okay. Oh for two. Well, you're close. If I did this to you, you wouldn't get it either. You know, it's kind of like landing on the moon. You know, yeah. Apollo thirteen was close. Right. It's right. Okay. Here we go, Jessica Rabbit. The... Jessica Rabbit. Um. <laughs> it's very difficult when they're not real. <laughs> Not real people. She's a cartoon. Um, you know, how about you start making effort and not I'm excuses? I'm trying. Thirty-six triple D. It's a thirty-eight N. That doesn't exist. That's actually no. Designed. But that, but that's how big logistically. If you measure her bust and whatever, and made a statue out of her, she would be thirty-eight N. By the way, that's thirty-one pounds of breast tissue. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> That's why that size doesn't exist. It's exactly. Not it's not realistic.